You're watching Aaron G. Let's smash the bananas. tablespoon of vegetable oil. We will not put any sugar because the banana already makes the banana bread sweet. And no baking soda Required. in this Banana bread required. Yes. We don't want baking soda on it. We want the natural taste. In a mixing bowl. One cup. We put four cups. And then another cup, one at a time. Two cups. Four cups. Three cups. Oh wait, three cups. Four cups. Four cups. the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and stir until well combined I smell already the aroma of the banana me too Smells really good. It is. We don't put any sugar here because the banana is already sweet. We don't. The, we want the natural taste of the banana. Mmm. Smells great. It smells great. You can add some raisins, walnuts, uh, peanuts if you want, but we want it the old tradition way, traditional way. I don't even put a vanilla because this is already sweet. Continue to mix. Continue to mix. After five minutes, we need to stir it like one minute. And we divide it into the three thin. Look how creamy. Let's 
Oxford Studeban. It's time to bake. Okay, we are now going to slice our banana bread. As you can see, it did not stick to the tin because we added some margarine and brushed it on the tin so it would not stick and we wouldn't have to use a knife to carefully cut it out of the tin and it's it did not stick. Beautiful. Okay, still hot. Okay. It's a little hot, but it's still cooling. Yeah, see how beautiful that's the back. It's so spongy. Spongy. Look at the sides. It's perfectly cooked, but a little bit hot. The sides are delicately really smooth. Okay. Okay, let's cut. Let's see the insides. Okay. Carefully cut. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Erin G Vlogs. Yum, yum, yum! See you next time!